Victor, it was uh, uh, an amazing day at the carrier plant on the west side of Indianapolis. Um, employees, public, close to the public, but employees there yep. uh, witnessing a day that I don't think anyone there thought, thought would happen. It's extraordinary. I mean, what, what great news, especially as we're just a few weeks away from Christmas. Those uh, thousand plus families can uh, breathe a little sigh of relief, enjoy the holiday. Uh, and, and certainly it's, just, it's great news. Yeah. It's great news. Uh, to put this in perspective, I think you go back to February when United Technologies and Kerry made the announcement, uh, not only here in Indianapolis, but Huntington as well, but saying, hey, these jobs are going to Mexico. Yeah. And it seemed as though from the get-go, this was a done deal. It was going to happen. Well, it, it, that, that's, that, was, that was how it was delivered. Uh, you know, we didn't have a chance to... Uh, to engage in any conversation. The, the governor did not on behalf of the state. And I know this the same for the city. The mayor was not aware either. So it was, it was, it was not only abrupt news to the employees, but also to the, to the state and to the city. You want to talk about some of the particulars on how this deal got done. And it, it's my understanding that it was essentially a phone call from President-elect Trump was. to the United Technologies uh, CEO to basically say, hey, reconsider. That's right. So the, no pun intended, but the art of the deal here uh, it literally did. A couple weeks ago, it started with a phone conversation. It was a phone call from President-elect Trump mm -hmm. to the chairman and CEO of United Technologies, Greg Hayes, who said, hey, I want to articulate to you what, I, what my vision is and what the plan is in, in, his, in his plan for the federal taxation policy, for federal regulatory uh, review, mm -hmm. making it less burdensome for business. And he articulated that vision and said, I feel I have the will gain the support of, of Congress. This is my vision, and I, I would like you to reconsider. And if you would reconsider, I want you to engage with, uh, with the state and with our team in, in seeing if that can't come to fruition. That, that got the ball, ball rolling, a connection yeah. with the, the vice president-elect, Governor Mike Pence. That's right. You were actively involved in uh, 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 Bob McDonough, uh, right. uh, Carrier's uh, top guy. Talk about those negotiations. We'll talk about the state incentive package in a minute. But in your view, how important uh, uh, was it during the negotiations uh, in terms of the, the future federal tax policy, fiscal policy, the regulatory environment? That, that drove the deal. What we're going to talk about, I think, by what you just said, the, the state package is, uh, is respectful and it's, and it's meaningful, but it didn't drive the deal. Uh, what drove the deal was the president-elect and the vice president-elect sharing what their vision was for the federal tax policies and the federal regulatory burdens, which, which on the grand scheme really are driving this deal. Uh, having said that, uh, then we did start those individual conversations, as you said. Uh, the, the president elect spoke to the chairman of, uh, and CEO of United Technologies, who then in turn went to the CEO of Carrier Corporation, the wholly owned subsidiary of United Technologies, Bob McDonough, and asked him to engage in conversation with, uh, with, uh, with the yeah. vice president elect. How about the state package? What is involved in the state package? What is involved in the state package is, is, is uh, many of the same tools that we use on a regular basis. Uh, it is a, a component of it is, is uh, an edge tax credit, which means it's headcount based. Mm -hmm. It's performance based. Uh, and what that is, is uh, uh, the state will refund a portion of the state withholdings on the, on your, uh, you know, when you get your pay stub, there's a, there's a three point something percent, right, of, of the state tax uh, withholdings. We use that as currency when we negotiate deals like this. And so it's, uh, the state is, uh, is, is going to be refunding a portion, a minority portion of that withholding. So it's actually still a good deal for the state. It could critics some of the political realm or say, hey, this is a taxpayer you know, bailout type thing. How does, it, how does this stack up uh, with respect to other economic So anticipating that question, what we did is we put it, we plotted this offer to Carrier Corporation uh, against some of the other types of deals, those same retention deals. And what you're going to see is this is uh, not aggressive. This is uh, in the lower quartile, candidly, of, uh, of those uh, incentives. Uh, when we look at the, 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 uh, the incentive per payroll dollar, this is very low. It's in the bottom quartile. Okay, let's look going forward yeah. because there are indications that Carrier wants to not only keep those 1,100 jobs or so, but actually add or invest uh, in the plant, make this kind of what they're calling a center of excellence. That's right. I mean, as, as you heard, and as now they've said publicly, they're interested in making substantial investments into that site. Uh, my understanding is this will be the preeminent uh, manufacturing facility for home gas furnaces uh, in North America. So uh, the, the, the types of investment and the type of, of agreement they got in with the state signals another decade commitment at least uh, to the to, to the to the city of Indianapolis and to the the 
the thousand plus people that uh, that are going to be there. As you look at the tea leaves, does that uh, kind of also that ten year uh, agreement, if you will, or ten year year incentive package? The length of that mm -hmm. uh, uh, is a positive in your view. It, it, absolutely. I mean, it, it signals to them that this is this is not just. A, uh, a short term, not just a quarterly view, but something a little bit longer. Absolutely. All right, Indiana Secretary of Commerce, uh, Victor Smith, thank you. A big announcement to be sure. You were very much involved with this. We appreciate you taking time to be here. As always, thank All you right. very much.